We need to talk about the Caliente refresh. If you live under a rock or you just never update your game because, girl, I don't blame you. The Sims team has graced us with another towny refresh, which means they change the, the way they look. That's it. The Caliente family is one that was introduced in The Sims 2, and you know what? I feel like the Calientes need no introduction. These are supposed to be the hottest of the hottest girls in town. I, in The Sims 4, that, that's not what happened. The Sims 4 also added Katrina Caliente who is their mom who's actually dating Don Lothario and the whole drama is that Don is supposed to be dating all three of them in some weird incestuous plot and you know what I can get behind that however I could never get behind their looks talking to you cheese head after eight years the sims team decided we can fix this and this is the brand new look of the Caliente sisters and their mom and Don and people don't like it personally I don't feel like I have a problem with them at least with their faces I do think that their faces look really nice especially Especially Katrina. I think Katrina looks gorgeous. Don, I don't actually care about him because when have I ever cared about the way male sims look? I literally never have. The main problem I have is the way the sisters look, not by their faces, but by their outfits. I thought people stopped shopping at Old Navy. So today I'm gonna be fixing the Caliente family, but without changing their faces to prove that their faces are not the problem. I'm also gonna make them look worse. Just to put it into perspective so you know that it actually wasn't that bad. Let's go. Let's get to Yasifying what has already apparently been yossified. As I said, I am not gonna be changing their faces or their facial features because I personally am very, very happy with it and that's not the point of this video. I've remade the Calientes more times than I can count on my hand and let me tell you I can't count past five. The point of this video is to show you that the refresh is actually a very good thing. The Sims team just has no style. I for one think that the Calientes look gorgeous and I am just absolutely elated to finally see some gorgeous video game characters that don't have Eurocentric features because oh my god I lived through the early 2000s and let me just say that was not a fun time for a young Arab girl for more reasons than one actually swiftly moving on and yes I know that this is the Sims 4's version of the Sims 2 I know that we all wish that this game could be the Sims 2 but it's not this is the Sims 4 but you cannot fucking stop me from being inspired by the way that they looked in the Sims 2 because in my little pea brain head in my little nostalgia blind brain that is what the Calientes are supposed to look like so obviously their outfits are gonna be inspired by what they wore in The Sims 2, but their makeup is gonna be modernized. I am saving Dina Caliente from that awful bright white lip gloss. Some things just should fucking die. I did take some creative liberties because I'm an American and I think I'm free, but in my head, I feel like a modern Caliente would probably be tatted. I think Dina less so than Nina, and yes, I have finally learned their names, and you know how I actually remember their names? It's because Dina is the blonde one and D stands for dumb which is dumb blonde and I know that blondes aren't actually dumb because I've seen legally blonde but that's just the weird and fucked up way that my brain decides to remember things and you know what considering that I have a lot of uh, memory issues I'll take whatever I can fucking <laughs> learn to fucking speak challenge difficulty impossible I will take whatever I can get and yes I know I'm using custom content and I know the whole point of a refresh is it's supposed to be available for everybody to use because they made the calientes in the base game because when you just buy the game. Oh wait, you don't even have to buy the game anymore. It's free. Still waiting for my refund, by the way, considering I bought the super special edition that was like 80 bucks at the time. Anyway, you get the game for free with no packs and you gotta have townies. So obviously they're not gonna have any sort of like extra clothes that aren't in the base game, but it's not my fault that the base game clothes are ass. So I'm just not using them. And besides, I never said that my Calientes have to be accessible to anybody. I literally don't care. I wanna play my silly little dress up game with my silly little download clothes and I'm going to do that dude imagine if you could illegally download Barbie clothes when I was a kid oh my god I would be going insane to be honest even though I did grow up with the Sims franchise starting all the way from the Sims 1 kind of a humble brag I kind of wish I had the Sims 4 at a young age just because the cast is so good the cast of old games is so goddamn archaic like what's even a slider what the heck is that <laughs> slider I hardly know her please don't unsubscribe please I will say however this was not necessarily necessarily easy to do. I feel like each sim got incrementally harder to try and remake. Did you hear my throat just go <laughs> Dina just needs a black dress. That's it. That's like the only requirement and like blonde hair and boom you got Dina Caliente. She could look like an anybody and you can immediately see that as recognizable. Dina Caliente is a little bit more difficult not because like her look is not iconic because it is. Oh my god the pink cargo pants. At the time I didn't appreciate it but now I absolutely do. It's just sort of pure procure pro pro wow. Procure 
procuring the custom content is a lot more difficult than it seems. Maybe I'm just really bad at finding custom content, but I don't know. It was just kind of hard. I tried to go for this like pink pants where you can kind of see like her undies a little bit because you know, they're supposed to be hot. These are supposed to be the hot versions of them. And I thought it would give off the vibe and you can probably see me try and make it work, but it did not work. It, I wasn't happy with it. Also, don't ask me where I get my custom content because genuinely I do not know. The hardest time, however, was Katrina Caliente. And I feel like I struggled with this so much purely because she wasn't in the older game. So I don't know how to portray her. I feel like in my head, she's like a momager. Like I feel like she's giving me strong Kris Jenner vibes, but I also don't want to deviate too much from, you know, the look that she has because she also has to be iconic in her own way with her very bright red hair. Now, I didn't do this. This was made by the Sims team themselves, but Katrina has a tramp stamp. And you know what? I think that is absolutely iconic. I tried to go through so many different outfits. I was super struggling with this and I really wanted something to show off that tramp stamp, but I just, I didn't have anything, at least in my CC library. And I didn't really know what I should have been downloading to like show it off. But I like to think this is from her younger years, her wild years. And now she wants to try and recapture her youthful appearance. And you know what? She does look good, but she doesn't look 20. But in her head, she does not give a fuck. And she's dressing like she's 20. And I absolutely love that about her. But I do think she probably wouldn't be as risque as her daughters. So she's definitely covering up that tramp stamp. Now that is only for Don's eyes. Lucky man. And we'll get to him later. Like, I don't know. In my head, I feel like she used to dress very mom-like, like very, I wouldn't say normal. I don't really like that word, but you know, just a bit more conservative. And then her daughters grew up to be absolute babes. And she was like, you know what? I want in on that. And they all just kind of had this like wonderful Caliente awakening together, which is probably how Katrina landed a very much younger boyfriend. Or is he an adult now? I don't actually remember the, the age of Dawn. I don't remember if he's a young adult or an adult. I, I don't care. What have I cared? Dude, now I kind of want to do a Caliente backstory. Because where is their dad? I want to know. I'm going to make it up and make it canon. But yeah, she really stressed me out. I feel like this is probably not the best representation of her, but the whole point of this video was to show you that like they're all hot. Like they did a great job with this refresh. It's just the clothes. Eventually, I'll, I'll figure her out. I will make her the iconic queen she deserves to be because I know that everybody hates her. But because of this refresh, I kind of love her. Is that why they're doing them? Can I end more phrases as questions? But yeah, if anyone still has a problem with the Caliente free, 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 free fresh, free, free uh, refresh, I really want to know why. And I hope this video changes your mind because these girls be looking a little Caliente and Don, but we'll get to him in a second. So this is Don Lothario. This is his refresh. This is him. I could improve upon him, but I don't care. He looks fine. Now here's the fun part. The only part that matters is making them look as horrible as possible so you guys can be goddamn grateful that we don't have cheese head anymore that the sims team could have done a way worse job this is nothing like the goth refresh where it was just overall confusing where they kind of missed the memo they didn't understand the family because nothing about that was screaming goth none of that had like a thematic sort of consistency with the old games at least the calientes are hot and this is an example of why you should also never let me refresh anything because it would just be a big hee hee ha ha if i just like released a sims update and all the townies just look like this and of course i also had to keep the iconic ring that all townies should be wearing that fucking eyeball but at the end of the day the whole point is it does not matter what you look like it matters how you present yourself and you know what they just needed a little bit of a makeover that was it their faces are fine and i will fight anybody that disagrees with me in the comments so be sure to fight me down there and finally we have don lothario i could make him look worse but i don't care